Today we will learn how to read a windrose. At first we have to know what is windrose. Windrose is a graphical representation of wind velocity vector over a period of time in a polar diagram or polar coordinate system. Polar coordinate system is a two dimensional coordinate system in which each point on a plane is determined by a distance from a reference point and an angle from a reference direction. In the polar coordinate system, the origin is called pole. We know about the Cartesian coordinates, which is in two dimensions. The Cartesian coordinates x, y specify the location of a point in, in the plane. Another two dimensional coordinate system is polar coordinates. Instead of using sine distances along the two coordinate axes, polar coordinates specify the location of a point in the plane by its distance from the origin and the angle made between the line segment from the origin to the, <coughs> to the point and the uh, positive x axis that is polar axis. So polar coordinates of the point is called r theta. If I illustrate it here, if this is my x axis and this is y axis, <coughs> and say here my point P, and the distance from origin to P is R and the angle between this axis and this uh, length is theta. So the polar coordinates of the point P will be R theta. So, in a more simplifying uh, language, a uh, windrows is represented as a series of concentric uh, cycle, concentric cycles with spokes, where the length of each spokes is linked with the frequency of wind blowing from a, a certain direction indicated by by that particular spoke. Windrows is a diagram or graphical chart in which the speed and direction of the wind at a particular location are represented by lines of varying thickness and length superimposed uh, on a, on a compass uh, on a compass rose. So in general, windrows shows the wind direction and speed for each sampling period of a particular location. It is used by meteorologists to get a succinct view of how wind speed and directions are typically distributed. <coughs> so this is the you know circular format of windrows that shows the window the direction of wind blowing from so this is so this is the degrees and the direction is represented by degrees and this is the 16 direction is mentioned here the direction uh, and the degrees of each direction is constant if i divided 360 with uh, 16 it will be 22.5 so north will be uh, so this portion will be the north actually so 21.25 this side and 21.25 degree from this side so the uh, this is here it is 
uh, right here that uh, what is the uh, duration of degrees, what is the degrees contained for north and uh, northeast and others. And this is the concentric cycle which represents you know the percentage of time and this is spokes the length of each spokes around the uh, circle shows how often wind uh, blew from that direction and the different color of each spokes provide details of speed so in a, a single view that the number around the compass rules is the direction the concentric cycles uh, circles is the percent of time spoke length is the frequency of wind blow larger spokes means more often wind blows from that direction and smaller spokes means low frequency color bars are wind speed color bar represents wind speed so now you read this diagram with me the wind blowing from west if I consider this wind is blowing from west 30% of time and from north it is you know 12% from northeast 12% so considering all these percentage it will be the 100 so the total duration is calc is uh, divided into the total duration is uh, duration is to be converted to 100% and the direction of wind blowing wind blew are, are calculated with this percentage so if this is 4, this 4, this is also 12, it may be 16 and this is 8. So considering this, the total percent will be the 100. So if we consider the larger spokes that wind blew from the west we will find that that out of this 30 percent of time the sign color is one to four knots so only you can see the four percent of time wind blow about uh, wind blow between one to four knot and 17 percent that is if i consider this is 21 so 21 minus 4 that is 17 percent of time wind uh, blow here at four to you know seven knot and eleven to seven to eleven knots is about this is a dark blue color here about nine percent of time so we may keep in mind that equal length equal length spokes represents great variation of wind direction over a given duration and spoke length does not represent wind speed in a given duration so in our next video we will learn what is required for preparing a windrows and how uh, we prepare a windows. Thank you.